And with that blast, the Milers are on the track, and while they get themselves down to the start line, let's take a look back to the meet record performance that happened just last year. Very fast field. The girls' one mile is underway. And here goes Whitaker to the outside. Whitaker goes back to back. 436-24, two years, two new meet records. So Juliet Whitaker sets the standard, 436-24 in that race set a year ago and all kinds of talent towing the line here in Renton, Washington here for the 2023 edition of the Brooks PR Invite Girls One Mile. They get their final instructions here. Mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Lauren King out of now Chandler, Arizona, got her career started in Minnesota and now a senior, but has been seen in our broadcast for seemingly a decade. If we look at some of the others in the field, Tatum David, Jane Hendegren, Terry Beloga, Jesse Secor, Samantha Humphreys, Peyton Godsey, Bethany Mahalik. Daly out of La Jolla, California, Marco of Dana Point, California, LeBlonde, and there is Lauren Ping. Big deep breaths here, everybody's shaking it out. This is the hardest part of the, the meet, I think, just these final seconds before the gun goes off. Five of these girls ranked in the top 20 so far this year in the outdoor season, and they all go head-to-head -head here in the final girls' event of the 2023 Brooks PR Invite, the one mile, and they already get swiftly underway. They're not messing around in these opening 100 meters. Now you could see Tatum, Data, Tatum David get out off the line fast, which she did. Uh, a couple weeks ago we've seen her run so well all year she's run really well indoors and outdoors this is a really fun meet she says she likes coming back here she was third here last year and she said one thing she really wanted to do was just to let the race happen she didn't want to be in control so much she wanted to see in that first lap in this first lap what happens and she's sitting right on the shoulder of carrie beloga so Beloga, the senior from New Windsor, New York, commit to the University of Colorado for her collegiate career. And David, also a senior, she'll go to the University of Virginia. Hagengren is there in third. 67.41, that's at 409 meters, so a sense pretty swift there in the early going. What, about 67, 65 probably for that first lap. They are moving. That pace for 436 is 69 second pace, so they are moving. Just saw Mahalik come in and out of picture, but went to the inside of the track to get around someone. Again, there's no rail here. They got to stay technically on the track, and that's why those cones are there. That affords this race today to have potential for record setting purposes. Meantime, the field has done a nice job of recapturing the contact with the leaders. So for the most part, everybody in the field, that's Lauren Ping that's fallen a little bit off the back here as they'll now come through the halfway mark as the fans have now been afforded the opportunity to get on the track for these final two races, adding to some of the uh, excitement and spectator value of this race. Two laps to go now in this girl's mile. That is Beloga on the inside, David on the outside, Petergren in third. Carrie Beloga has not run the mile yet this year, and sometimes not having a race under your belt that you are racing in, like the mile, can kind of be an eye-opening event. Like, she's, you know, obviously very good at running this, but she hasn't done it yet. So the pain is different here than running a two-mile or even a 5,000 over the cross-country course. So she's now getting into that where she's feeling the pain. Can she regroup and recover? She looks good right now, but here comes Tatum David. 
Six girls now in this lead group with David continuing to lead. Beloga, Hedegren out of Provo, Utah, and then it's Mahalik. Daly and Secor. They were 69-99 on the second lap to the finish line. Now they come through in 70-48. So a quick first lap, but they have slowed down with each successive lap now, Kerry. And they wind it up for the final lap for the mile here in Renton. Keep your eyes on Hendergren. She's been on that inside of the first la or first lane there the entire way. Now she's trying to figure out, do I go on the inside or go on the outside? This is what it's all about, everybody, figuring out but staying patient. Can she keep her patience in the final 200? Because I think she looks like she's in the best fitness right now or like the best, uh, she looks good right now, but she's stuck and that's really tough to be in. That's Mahalik back there in fourth, beginning to lose a little bit of traction, trying to regain contact with Hittergren, who is behind the leaders, Tatum David and Kerry Beloga. As they come into the final stretch, David with the lead. Here comes Hittergren past Beloga. Does she have enough to catch David? David has left the inside. David has gone out wide and Hedegren has taken advantage and she's gonna take the win in the straightest line to the finish line and wins it in 435-69. And that is a new meet record US number one. What? I mean, just the way she ran, I couldn't even get it out with 200 meters to go because I knew she was trying to get out. She was trying to find her positioning. And that was such a great lesson in patience to see that she kept her composure, knowing that she was trying to move and she was thinking. And when you think, sometimes that gets in the way. So as we watch her replay, I think she's got to be really excited about her race. 435.69, my goodness. And with all the different weaving that she had to do, she could have gone even faster. Look at this right here. On the inside of that first lane with 200 to go, trying to figure out where to go, how to keep her composure, and she sure did. She tried to swing wide, and as you said it, Paul, Tatum David started to swing out a little bit, and that's where she found her pocket, and she just put on a little bit more of a surge Hendergren did, and then she crossed the finish line in a new meet record and a new PB, running 4.35. Awesome. And that'll put her just ahead of Juliet Whitaker on the all-time high school list. Looks like number eight performer. And a good shot from the inside. And how many times have we seen this at all levels of racing carry? The leader goes wide and leaves that inside open and Hedegren takes the advantage there all the way to the finish. Both she and Tatum David are under that previous meet record. So Tatum David's also gonna move up onto that all time top 10 list. So a just mind blowing performance here for all involved, another five.